Are you looking to grow your team, but at this moment you aren't able to afford a full-time staff? This is why today I'm going to talk to you about looking into using interns inside of your event business. Using, using interns correctly can be the secret weapon to being able to grow your team and not breaking the bank at the same time. And the beauty is, is that you can train them up into being your future full-time employees if you do it correctly. So stick around to learn these tips. For those of you that are new to my channel, hello, my name is Jessie with Green Eyed Ambition. I have over 14 years of experience in the event industry business. I specifically work in the corporate event space. In today's video, I want to talk about why to use interns inside of your business. As you know, always on this channel, I love to talk about the unsexy things in entrepreneurship. And most importantly, I want to use the, and share with you the tips that I have used in my own specific business to be able to grow and scale. So today's conversation about using interns is something that I learned very early in my business because I read a book by the founder of Tom's, Blake Mikowski, and his book really helped me in understanding how to use interns and most importantly, how to build a business on a streamlined budget so that you're not just wasting so much money or you may have to close your doors a little bit earlier just because you have so much overhead that it's just super hard to actually make a true profit in your business. So today I want to talk to you and give you some of the tips that have really helped me with being able to have interns and have long lasting relationships with these individuals. First things first, I want to talk about why interns are important in your business. Do not just think of it as free labor, because if you're just thinking of it from that standpoint, you're looking at this in a very small window of your business. Because now, honestly, you may not get everyone that wants to work for free. So interns are a really great way to be able to, one, try someone out in your business on a not so permanent basis. I have worked with interns just for a semester or a specific time period because one, that person was looking to see if the industry was something they wanted to do, or you have the ability to see if this is someone that I would actually want inside of my business. Internships are a really great opportunity for you to give someone exposure, but most importantly, give you the opportunity to see if this is someone that you may even want on your team. A big benefit to using interns can be the ability to learn from them as well as the learning from you. I have grown through working with interns. So always have a broad approach when it comes to using interns because it's not only a one-way street. The second part to understanding why to use interns is to actually have a true purpose. And this is not only just for interns, this is for anyone on your actual team. I find people saying that, oh, I want to hire people. I need more people. I need more people. Great. What are they going to do? Like clearly, what are they going to do? You don't want to have someone working with you or just acting as an intern, but you aren't able to create opportunities for them to learn um, or anything that's going to benefit them at the end of the day. So you want to have clarity about the purpose of that intern. You could potentially find an intern that just really is looking to build up their portfolio for social media marketing, or you may find an intern that is looking for experience with administrative because they're looking to uh, start applying for different jobs and things like that. When you have a true purpose for your intern, it one, allows for them to not feel as if they're just going to be doing random things, and it actually gives them something to be excited about. Um, plus, it allows for you to have intentionality with that relationship. Um, when you're going about actually putting out that you're looking for interns, you want to have clear purpose um, because if it's an intern and they're working for free and they're not learning anything or, or not getting anything out of it, then they just won't show up. Um, and that won't benefit you either. So having clear purpose and the role that that person could potentially play uh, and enrolling them into that purpose is really super key. Um, so like for myself, I, purp I, purp I have had purposes for people to help with photography and learning more about how to compose images and our branding. I did that earlier in our journey and I was able to get some amazing photography students that were working with our company with branding at our events because a lot of times with 
event photographers, they need events to shoot. So they love the opportunity to go to events and shoot. But if I'm just like, hey, I'm looking for interns, um, and I got somebody that has never done photography or have any clarity about it, I can get someone to fill the role, but I won't actually get someone that I need inside of my business. So once you have clarity as to why you want interns, the purpose for them, now you may be saying to yourself, Jesse, how do I go about locating it? Um, I'm going to share with you three ways in which I have personally found interns um, in the past. The first one is pretty common, universities. You can find some colleges that are in your local area, um, or it might even be trade schools in your local area that potentially may have people that are looking for experience. And go into it when your people are looking for experience. It can be for a short-term focus. It may be because they're trying to figure out if they want to stay in the industry or they're just looking for guidance. Um, but universities are really great because if someone's doing it for credit, uh, typically they will be able to do anywhere between eight to 10 hours a week. Um, and then they usually are free or a little bit of a stipend. So looking into your local universities, trade schools, um, are going to be a really great fit. And like how I mentioned in that book by Blake Mikowski, um, he actually even gives a script that you can use when you're posting for interns. And I use that and that really helped me in the beginning. Um, when it comes to interns. Um, however, you can probably use something like ChatGPT to help you as well. However, read the book because it's not only just for the interns, but it's also going to be helpful for those of you to have clarity on how to do a streamlined business so that you're not in the hole um, when you're starting and you need to make a profitable business. The second is that you can now post it on internship websites. There are different ones out there. You can also put them on Craigslist. Um, indeed, and I used to use interns.com. I think that that got purchased. However, Google internship website boards and you can find some. Um, don't think that people won't do internships or people aren't willing to work for free or stipend or free food. Um, like if you're a caterer, um, you can work something out when it comes to payment or non-payment or just rights to certain things. Um, so post it on a job board. You never know who may be interested depending on where you're located. And then the third thing you want to do is go and talk to people in your circle of influence. Post on Facebook and say, hey, I'm looking for an intern. Anyone know of any college students that may be looking to get experience doing X, Y, and Z? That's why we did the second step of understanding the purpose because we're not just going to be out here saying I'm just looking for interns because some people will see that and just hear free labor. Um, but if you're intentional about why you're working with someone and what type of opportunity you're giving them, some people will take advantage of that. Everyone may not jump on it, but there are still some people that will take advantage of interns. Once you've done your posting and you have hired this person, what I would recommend for you to do is to actually look at, is this a person that will be a great person on my team? I even say this is something you want to do in the beginning when you're interviewing them um, and hiring them. See if they're a good fit, because here's the thing. You don't want someone that could be toxic, that is working for you for free or a stipend, and they potentially help you lose customers or hurt your business. So you want to see if the person could be potentially someone that you would want to even offer an opportunity to down the road because if they're able to be a good worker and team member before you're really paying them, think about how they're going to be when you actually hire them. So look at this as a long-term friendship and relationship or business partnership because again, everyone's not going to be your friend. There's a way to be friendly without crossing the lines, but you do want to take the time to think about, is this someone that I can potentially continue this partnership on? Is this someone that um, I can always just have as a reference down the road um, as some, when I start really hiring for my team. So take time to think, is this someone that I can work with long term? And as the relationship progresses, you'll be able to continue to learn how to grow together. You're able to find out what are their goals. And this is a part of the interview process, asking them, like, what's your true intention for an internship? Where would you like for this to go? It's best to know that up front. So you know how to handle it and find out if it's someone that you really want to work with. 
If they're like, hey, I'm just looking to get an opportunity to see if this is what I want to do. Um, and you're personally looking to have someone that can go into your business. You don't want to hire someone as an intern that is just feeling something out because then you can put all this effort and energy and then they're going to leave you. Whereas for someone else, they may be like, I'm trying to grow within a company. I'm trying to see if this is something I want to do um, and have this turn into a full-time opportunity or part-time opportunity. Have these open and honest conversations in the beginning so you know what type of person you're bringing into your business. And a final thing that you want to do when it comes to hiring your intern is that you want to make sure that you have clear expectations about this internship. This may be one of the hardest ones because it comes down to your leadership. You want to be a good leader even when you have interns because that is going to help strengthen your ability to have a part-timer or a full-time team. So have clear expectations as to arrivals. What are the roles that they're going to be doing when you're expecting them to have things done? I recommend having these things written out, having clear conversations, having a clear onboarding process, and then having check-ins to see if they are getting a good experience and then you have the ability to also give positive as well as some corrective um, criticism and the same conversation. So this is where it's going to be really learning to be a leader inside of your business and having a space that allows for you to foster growth. This is something that is super important. Um, I have had over the years um, around seven different interns that I have worked with. Some of them have gone into totally different industries than the event industry. Um, some of them went into the wedding industry. I do not went to the wedding industry. Um, and some of them, they just have done other things all together. Um, and that's fine. But I think that this is something that you want to have and as a part of your internship. Growth doesn't always just mean with you. It can be seeing that person as you have this relationship, this partnership. Um, all of my individuals were through a university, so they stayed with me. I mean, they stayed within my business for four months. And you're talking with them, you're dealing with them on a daily basis. Uh, and so you have a true investment in where they're going in their future. So I wanted for them to figure that out. And I was fine with the direction in which that business went, in which they ended up going, um, which is part of the process. So don't always see, uh, see it as an opportunity to just give free labor. I'm going to say this repeatedly. Don't just see it as an opportunity to give free labor. This is an opportunity for you to foster relationships, grow your team, and to be able to see exactly how you want to put together your all-star team in the future. So lastly, since I've given you some tips on how to have success with having interns, I want to give you some different examples of the different ways in which you can use interns. Um, you can have them work with you when it comes to doing social media, editing, marketing, client relations, setup for events, project management. You can also have someone that is assisting from an administrative side. Think of where you could use support and most importantly, where are some areas that you can help with developing someone in. I do find that people are looking for opportunities to learn, especially a lot of the younger professionals because they're in a place where they're, they need to have experience to go into the workforce. However, you will find some people that are mature in their age um, that are looking for a pivot in their life and they're looking to possibly volunteer um, or do a quote unquote internship for a few hours a week, um, especially if it's going to lead to an opportunity. Everyone, you never know what someone's going to say yes to. So don't make the assumption that no one will go for it. So thanks for watching. And I hope that you start to look at how you can use our interns as an asset inside of your business. This has been one of the biggest helps for me, especially in the earlier parts of my, my career and business, because I was able to be strategic with the internships in which I was able to have. And it also helped me with growing within my leadership and within my team. If you have found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button, 
so that I can continue to know what type of content that I should be putting out there. If you have any questions about internships, comment below because I will be happy to do a video to give more in-depth information. But for now, that's all. Peace.